Interesting. What I heard was a lot of tax. <laughs> and uh, as a former political person, um, you know, when you start talking tax on the campaign trail, it doesn't generally go down well. I had a look at their website, you know, they're talking 42, 45% the top tax rate. I think their, um, their land tax will go down like a cup of cold sick mm. with the voters in Ireland. Uh, I don't think the top brand is where it was when Gareth Morgan was involved. They got 2.4% in 2017. So I can't see RAF winning in Ireland. I think those voters are actually going to go back home to national. Ah, it's interesting, isn't it? I want to talk to you a little bit more about what happened in Ireland there. But it is a long shot for RAF, isn't it, to become one of these Peter Dunn or David Seymour-like characters, Mark? Yeah, it is a long shot, obviously. But uh, I liked I, I liked the interview this morning uh, with him. I liked his backstory, meets Kiwi Girl in Bangkok, uh, yeah. comes home. <laughs> I think that's always going to play well. Uh, I'm, I, I think the gold card for younger people actually is, is attractive. Mm. Um, no one seems to be really doing anything for younger people. They can't get into the housing market. RAF's offering them a way in here. We've got, he's right, we've got to do something about rebalancing this housing-driven economy. Mm. So I think he's got some good ideas. Whether they're electorally attractive enough, I take um, Nathan's point. Um, but I'd love to see Ilum stand up and be an Epsom and allow us to inject some big, bold, new ideas, um, you know, into this country. Because National and Labor, out of ideas. Aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Far from it. Well, the, the, who was he appealing to, Finn? Because, mm. you know, young people is one group. He says he also gets older support, but, you, you know, what are you seeing out there? Well, youngish massive nerds is who he's aiming at, really. Like, he's got a dense thicket of policy, and a lot of it is very tech heavy. And I think. Top is at its best when they're talking about that big picture stuff. And I think he is going to appeal to young people because he is probably the only politician or wannabe politician who is addressing the fact that the next 10 years is most likely going to be radically different right across the economy than the previous 10. When he talks about AI, when he talks about automation, I think that is really going to appeal to younger people. There is that increasing dissatisfaction with the two-party status quo. But, of course, it's always a risky electoral bet, betting that there's going to be be this youth wave coming out to save you while simultaneously asking older voters to really vote against their own interests if they're owning land. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I thought he was speaking your language around the AI. AI candidate. Yeah, I'm totally here for it.